Superintendent Keith Lewis was openly opposed to hiring former Republican governor candidate Joey Gilbert as the district's new legal counsel worried about his lack of experience in education law and his high legal fees. Just a few months later, as those costs were rising, tensions boiled over. Uh, his a, name was I taken off. A, record, record. I never. Name was a volatile September board meeting. Superintendent Keith Lewis airing his frustrations with the district's new law firm, Joey Gilbert. The communication with my office has been almost zero because I'm very frustrated that I'm not being carbon copied. I'm very frustrated. That then a minute later. Please don't tell me what is true and what's not. Well, I know that email. I did not receive so the original contract. It came during a debate over how much Gilbert was charging the district and whether his contract is valid since the amended version wasn't signed by Lewis or all board members. Um, I have objected to it and nothing has been done to rectify it. You're not allowed to sign for it. It's in the bylaws. That Gilbert's costs have far exceeded the previous law firm's monthly average of $18,000. He charged $35,000 in the first month and $74,000 in month two, on pace to blow past the annual budget of $160,000 in just a few months. Where will this money come from? discretionary funds for our school, salaries and benefits to our employees. Gilbert says you get what you pay for, and the firm has had to spend more time with public records requests, open meeting law complaints, and proposed bylaw changes. He says the extra time is not because he's had to familiarize himself with education law, which he had no prior background in. This is not me just researching for learning. This is trying to figure out what's gone awry here in the past couple years, which is what I've done. Friday afternoon, the board will discuss a mutual agreement to terminate his contract without cause and pay him out accordingly. He would be owed 12 months of his salary, about $180,000. In studio, Ben Marjot reporting.